one of these. Awful. It's literally been used to pieces. So let's get started. What have we got in the box? I remember I bought a load of these bras to resell, these underwear sets. I don't actually know if all of those are listed, so I better double check. This is also a good way to take account of all your stock and make sure that you've got either enough of everything or everything's been sold. Um, right, and then we've got the, I remember these bras as well. These are all, bur oh, one just fell out. These are all burgundy bras. Um, I bought these in bulk from a, in Wales when I went to a car boot sale. So all of this stuff is car boot stock. So I'm going to leave the longer bras beside there and then the ones that are put in the corner that side. And then I also account in for here. So I have underwear and I also do tops, t-shirts, um, corsets like these. So I'm going to make sure that I put these in here a little bit nicer than they were before. Um, I do have another box that I have for just t-shirts as well. So I put in here more like crop tops. I've got a lot of these brand new with tags. So we're just doing a bit of a stock sorted weekend really. Um, it's still getting colder so I still want to make sure that I've got everything in a good order. Oh, I also put caftans in here which I think maybe I should put with the dresses area sometimes. So let's just make sure that I'm up to date with everything stock wise. Things get a little um, busy when I'm trying to pack quite quickly so sometimes it's good to refold things a little bit and just make sure that they're in a nice order otherwise when you pick them up they're all screwed up and creased and then they're not very nice when you resell them because you've got to either iron them again or make sure you pack them well and with corsets I tend to wrap them around with the ribbon like that so they stay quite nice but as you can see I've got a lot of box to fill so we're just going to keep filling today to double check what we've got so we've got oh yeah I remember these um, nighty t-shirts they're really cute a lot of people wear them out now and um, I think they're quite a nice style put dressing gowns in here too that's a really nice one like an oriental um, pattern love that what else we've got oh yeah the little corset crop top sometimes put kids stuff in here as well because it's literally small so i've got little waistcoats um that was quite a sweet one actually that's next age 11 little strappy t-shirt oh this table's quite high you know it's actually like making my arms ache another little um sort of bed silky t-shirt in there i try and also either put them in certain areas or fold them ways that I can see them. So if I'm looking through the box and I'm trying to find something that I've sold, I can see it that side. Obviously that's why I buy um, plastic see-through tubs. Well. It's on like that, clicks in, easy click like that. Oh, like so. And then we move it off the side. And then we've got a little frilly one here. I bought that for some old charity stock stop, the charity stop shop stock. They were trying to get rid of a lot of it and they said, um, we're having a sale on do you want to bulk buy and a lot of charity shops I know people bad mouth them but a lot of charity shops are willing to do deals and when they know I'm a reseller a lot of them want me to take a lot of the stock they can't sell if you're honest a lot of charity shops they're actually really helpful and they're willing to help you out and sometimes when they can't sell the stock and they're going to throw it away they'll do a really good discount for you so never be afraid to ask if you don't ask you don't get some bright orange bottoms another crop top but these are crop tops, they don't take up a lot of space. But you also, unless they're really big branded, won't make a ton of money on them. So learn from me, you know, sometimes you can make a decent bit of money selling on Primark and those kind of brands, but reality is you actually want some really bigger brands if you want to make quite a lot of money from them. Um, I try and make a £10 minimum profit per item, um, but a lot of this stock I bought quite a long time ago. So some stuff I will definitely, like a lot of these bodysuits that are brand new with tags on, I probably will make um, £10 profit, but I probably won't with some of the other stuff on here. So I don't tend to wear, buy swimwear unless it's a really good brand and a lot of it's brand new because some people can be funny. But saying that, um, a lot of people do buy secondhand. I have a particular set of bikinis and the tops that I really, really love from Primark. This was back in the day, Primark, when it was really cheap and also really good quality. And I absolutely loved it. And it's a real shame now because um, they don't do that style, but a lot of people still sell them on vintage. So I still buy those ones that, you know, people barely used, especially the bikini tops, because they're really good for festivals. So, you know, that's what's really good about sale and secondhand is you can find things that were on ages ago um, and you can still find them on the market now. And um, right, we're nearly through the box of wonders. I can't believe there was so much stuff in here actually. I remember these swimsuits, I bought these from a car boot sale. Some were selling a lot of branded ones, so I bought quite a few of them. I've already sold two of them. I've still got about four left, so not too bad. Some things are quicker sales than others, but you'll find when swimwear isn't in the stores, you'll still sell them online because a lot of people um, uh, are still looking for that, but obviously they can't always find them in stores, or if they can, they're quite expensive. I have this, um, box that it was keeping it doesn't have a lid it's just really cracked so what i'm going to do is just keep packaging in here um because that's a lot easier right let's close that box of things i think we're done with that i might keep some like shoe boxes or something in here i've got quite a lot of boxes and packaging flying around actually 
Mm. Doesn't even think about bigger boxes so they get heavy. <laughs> so let's fill a couple of these. Another stock we've got. Ski suits. I like ski suits. These are a good item for me. It's very hard to store them though because they're so big. That's why I used to keep them in these plastic bags. But the plastic bags aren't very stackable. So I would quite like to transfer them now. So we've got a pink one. Oh yeah, this lovely pink one. I actually took this one to... Um, when I went to Iceland for the weekend, it was great. It kept me very, very warm. So you kind of roll them up like a bit like a sausage and then you pop them in. It's just about getting organized. That's all it is. It's just about getting organized properly. Roll that one up. Okay, that will go in there nicely. This bag now is kind of redundant. It has a hole in it look like it's not that useful anymore. Um, but I'll keep it to the side because sometimes maybe I'll put like some packaging in there or oh, actually I have a lot of bubble wrap that I could put in there too so we won't throw it away just yet but right, I probably should zip them up actually and then they would fit in a lot better one lid done let's do another box I remember this this is a jacket I'm selling to my auntie and uncle it's just a plain black puffer jacket I think but it's quite good because if I don't recognise things I probably haven't seen them or done anything with them on the eBay shop for a while so I probably do need to have a think about you know, reboosting the listing or something somehow. A separate box just for jackets. That's the only good thing about these. They hold a lot of stock in, um, but they're just really hard to stack. So the trouble is because my loft hatch is so small, these are the biggest size boxes I can get up the hatch. Otherwise I couldn't physically get them up here. So some of these have definitely been in here since last winter. So not everything sells really quickly. That's unfortunately part of being a reseller is you realize what sells quick and what doesn't. And sometimes you can be lucky in that things just sell really quickly and sometimes you can be unlucky and you think something would sell really quick and it just didn't okay down there we go you know when it's right because it clicks in properly and when it hasn't quite gone in and that's not jacket drawer you can see how the stock already gets piled up very very quickly that's the if you organize everything things do fit in a lot better but it's hard when you've got no time and you're just trying to rush through things so do remember that if you do it right the first time it will save you time later on it doesn't feel like it but it will i've got myself confused between the blazers and the actual normal jackets here but that's okay as long as i know where to find them Oh, that's more like a coat. That shouldn't really be in that one. And then jacket. There. Lovely. Where was the lid for that one? Right, good. Oh, gosh, there they Ooh, Right, see? And they stack really nicely as well. Oh, my back is killing me. back is killing me. Uh, vintage ski jacket. Can't believe that one didn't sell last season, although I probably did buy it at the wrong time of year. So maybe that'll go soon. Might pop that in there. Then we've got some normal jackets. Oh yeah, this is the um, 90 suede one. This is beautiful. I still can't believe this hasn't sold either. Sometimes when things don't sell, you do think, what should I do to help them sell better? Maybe I took it when the lighting was a little bit too dark because that happens sometimes. This is an expensive skiing jacket. But it's a bit of a shame that it's got a rip down. I think that's why it hasn't sold. I might have to reduce the price again. That's two faux leather jackets. They go straight in there. They're already quite well fold it up this is one of those vintage um, shell suit jackets like a curtain style this one Ted Baker jacket children's um, dressing gown which is quite sweet that one but yeah another vintage because it's got the big shoulder pads in love a shoulder pad me vintage um nice pink jacket there okay we're done guys we're done right where's the lid 